This is the story of the Lake Neos disaster, where this seemingly peaceful lake killed 1,700 people in a single night, from 25 kilometers away. Welcome to a series I'm calling, Scientifically Interesting Ways to Die. On the evening of August 21, 1986, residents around Lake Neos, Cameroon, went to sleep as usual. The lake sat peacefully in an ancient volcanic crater, its water undisturbed for decades. But beneath that tranquil surface, a geological time bomb was about to detonate. Deep underwater, volcanic vents had slowly been releasing carbon dioxide into the lake for years. The immense pressure at the bottom kept the CO2 dissolved in the water, like a massive underwater soda bottle, creating a deadly stratification that concentrated the gas in the deepest waters. But that night, something, possibly a landslide or minor earthquake disturbed the lake's equilibrium. As the layers of water were violently mixed, the deep carbon dioxide rich water suddenly rushed to the surface in what's called a limnic eruption and forced the dissolved gas out of solution, releasing an estimated one. Six million tons of carbon dioxide in an explosive degassing event. This massive cloud of invisible, odorless CO2, heavier than air, rolled out of the lake crater at 60 miles per hour a toxic blanket hugging the ground as it spread across the countryside, displacing all available oxygen in its path. At around 10 p.m., the cloud reached the local villages and residents, bringing with it a wave of quiet death. CO2 doesn't poison you. It smothers you, displacing the oxygen in your lungs faster than your body can sound the alarm. At most, they felt a wave of brief dizziness. Then they simply lost consciousness and died where they stood. The next morning, Entire villages were found with people and animals collapsed exactly where the gas cloud had passed. Survivors described the eerie silence where nothing alive stood in the affected areas. In the wake of the tragedy, engineers installed degassing pipes into Lake Neos to prevent another catastrophe. The view from the hilltop stands as a constant reminder that nature really can take your breath away. If you like science that could genuinely be Lovecraftian lake lore, follow for more.